and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about assumptions with an ideal gas. Now with uh, ideal gas laws, and this will be really important when you talk about the derivation of kinetic theory, is that there are some assumptions that we must make to let physics take its course basically. So there are some assumptions we are assuming, okay. So in an ideal gas we are assuming a few things. So the first thing we assume in an ideal gas is that all the molecules are the same. Okay, so all molecules in the gas are identical. Okay, so none of this mixy blob, but we are just assuming that all of them are identical. Okay, we're also assuming. All collisions are el elastic, which means that kinetic energy is conserved. Okay, so you want to go back to first year uh, mechanics and have a look at momentum. An elastic collision is one where kinetic energy is conserved. So you're assuming when something bounces off something and rebounds, it will rebound at the same speed, but in a different direction. Okay. We are also assuming, okay, that there is a sufficiently large amount of them to be statistically significant. And what this assumption is saying, if I only had one particle acting on that, I can't actually use probability and statistics, any data I get, because it's not going to be statistically significant. So I must have a sufficiently large amount of them to actually for this to meaningfully be applied. Okay. Another assumption we make is that the volume of the particles is negligible. Notice I do not say zero, I say negligible. You cannot say that the volume is zero, that would make no sense. So you say the volume is negligible. You can't say small either. You have Negligible implies that the volume of the particle itself really has no effect. So by saying the volume is negligible, you are stating quite a massive and important assumption for particle fit, well, um, for ideal gas laws. And the last one is that Newtonian physics applies. And why I'm saying this is we are not talking about gases made up of electrons and we're going into the realms of wave particle duality. I'm literally saying that they're actinite particles and Newtonian physics applies. So these concepts, these, I, these points here are the assumptions we're going to make with an ideal gas. And these assumptions will allow us to actually look at things like kinetic theory and be able to talk about the equations related to that. So that there are the assumptions for an ideal gas.